I'm Nigel Warburton, and I'm going to be talking about the book Philosophy Bites, which I've edited with David Edmonds. Now, this book began as a podcast. We've been interviewing, maybe for two or three years now, the top philosophers on specific topics in philosophy. And part of the idea was to popularise the subject to get a real sense of the, the life in philosophy, because it's so often lost on the printed page. So that began as audio, and now we've turned it back into a book. We've got 25 interviews. And what we found is actually the process of interviewing a philosopher, getting them to explain their ideas clearly, as if to somebody who'd never understood or known about their ideas before, has brought out a kind of dialogue which takes philosophy back to its origins. You know, philosophy began with Socrates accosting people in the marketplace and, and questioning them about the assumptions that they, that, that they held and, and quizzing them, getting, getting them to flesh out exactly what they meant. And so what we've been doing that with with, the, I think, 25 of the, the best philosophers in the world. So I've been very privileged to interview people like A.C. Grayling, Alan de Botton, Michael Sandel, um, Peter Singer, uh, and uh, Simon Blackburn. So we, some of these on topics that are quite abstract, like well, we talk, Adrian Moore we talked about infinity with, and, and um, there's another one with Tim Williamson on vagueness, but others on very practical issues, like with Peter Singer, we were talking about how human beings use animals. You know, we, we usually encounter animals either on the plate, if you're not a vegetarian, or through medical research indirectly. And so we talked to him about that. Michael Sandel about sport and genetic enhancement. That's a, becoming a practical issue now that it's possible to modify athletes genetically. So we talk, I had quite an interesting um, disagreement with him there. And through that dialogue, I think it, it's actually conveying something of the energy of philosophy that is so often lost in the kind of dry academic tomes that get published and, and largely not read. So um, just to sum this up, I, th I mean, I think I'm in um, a very fortunate position because I've had tutorials with now hundreds of um, the world's best philosophers. And what we try to do is bring that down, get the essence of their philosophy and, and how they feel about ideas and get it onto the printed page. So I hope you enjoy it.